All right, freezing temperatures can be disastrous for crops and gardens across the valley. Yes, Oscar Channel 5's Leslie Aguilar found out that many residents in Star County depend on vegetable gardens to eat. Tonight, they're hoping they don't lose their crop. Right now, much of Star County is considered to be in what the U.S. Department of Agriculture calls a food desert. That means many families don't have access to fresh, healthy food. That's why many families now rely on community gardens. And tonight, low temperatures are threatening those gardens. This Escobares garden provides all the vegetables some families can get. There's not a grocery store in walking distance. A lot of the families from Star County come and help. They clean, they work on this garden, and they take a lot of vegetables. Heidi Arteaga helped start the community garden program through the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Center. She says many families have come to rely on the vegetables. This program is uh, for low-income families from Star County, and we uh, help them, and we teach them how to start their own vegetable gardens at home so they can have more access to healthy food. They grow everything from carrots and lettuce to radishes and beets. Tonight, they could lose much of it. We are a little bit worried. Arteaga is trying to harvest what she can before the freeze comes. Many of the families who eat the vegetables from this garden also grow their own at home. With low temperatures, we recommend to bring your tender plants inside the house if possible. If not possible, you can cover your plants with cardboard boxes or little blankets. She says it's taken time to get this community garden project up and running. She hopes a freeze doesn't set it back. In Star County, Leslie Aguilar, Channel 5 News at 6.